Well, peoples, we're back. This came up on Timu, of all places. West Creek. I'm thinking, West Creek on Timu? Are you kidding me? And I checked it on Amazon.ca here, and they're selling these models now. They first came out in uh, the USA only on Amazon. Uh-huh. And uh, here they're like $300. Mm, $300 on Amazon here. Oh, they got the nice soft sponge in this one. Unlike the Leo jeans that had the hard uh, styrofoam. This stuff protects much better. All right, what did they say about this? So I looked at it and I go $266 on Timu. $300 on Amazon. Uh, no brainer, right? So it looks like the price on Amazon is such that West Creek needs to have a big kickback back to Amazon so they can't sell it as frugally as they would like. So Timu seems to be another outlet for them. Yay on uh, West Creek. So this is a JX50 solid body electric guitar, HH with coil splits, mahogany body, thin maple neck, rosewood fretboard. Yellow stripes. I have a choice of red stripe or yellow stripe and I'm in my yellow phase of life. Now we know West Creek makes uh, really good copies of the bigger brand names. West Creek is a brand name. Manual, Whammy, Adjustment, Tools, Styrofoam Box. Very nicely done. has the reverse headstock with black hardware. Eh, not my choice. I don't like reverse headstocks that much. I guess it's just because I'm so used to non-reverse headstocks. And black hardware is J-Man's specialty, not mine. But we have a few with that on them. Only because sometimes it works that way. save these bags just in case I need one for a giveaway okay so it is black it does have yellow stripe the yellow is striking the red was a little bit dark um, roasted maple necks so I talked to my buddy Leo in Texas and he says uh, it's probably a knockoff <laughs> West Creek. It's not a real West Creek. I, I, think, I don't think anybody's knocking off West Creeks. So we have rock solid quality at a killer price. Thank you for choosing us, West Creek. Non-locking tuners. Mm, cut away. I think this is kind of a Charvel style uh, guitar. So the horn's a little bit extended. The bridge is very nice. Um, nice solid tuners, powder coat, very, very nice. Although, they did put it on with non-black screws. They used the uh, regular um, silver looking screws. And the screws in the um, intonation are not black. And also the uh, adjustment height are not black. Truss rod at the base. Uh, already has the other style roller string trees. Uh, I've used those. I leave those on because they work. Stainless steel frets. Rounded ends. <laughs> I don't have to do any end work. The truss rod is needing some adjustment. It has an underbow. The action is not overly high, but 
it is high and uh, I see where the saddles are that's about where I'd like to have them or maybe just a tad higher to get these set screws flush in they've used different size uh, set screws the end ones have uh, shorter ones they're like six millimeters versus ten millimeters or eight millimeters versus ten millimeters so they're not popping through that tells me I need to adjust the neck shin back to be able to get that action down once that is done the um, nut is supposed to be bone will require some uh, slot adjustment down and um, it's all the, the, they're already in uh, quite deep so I will probably take some meat off the top as well I see that there's five springs in the back of this thing and the block is a different style than the standard pot metal type it's still not that wide but it looks like solid steel and the <laughs> and the strings go I'll show you this later but the strings don't go all the way through the body of the of the block um, it's cut away and they go in a little bit higher all, all the way up at the top and it has the Dario colored strings on this brass through silver hmm now let's take a look at the finish there's some swirl in the finish not overly bad oh some bad buffing here on the edge they left it kind of matte uh, let's see not too bad a job on the inside yeah a little here too a little bit matte but and and some swirlies but not that bad you know black right black is hard but uh probably a little bit of that 2x mcguire scratch x will fix this up really well black on black that has a weird feel to it that has a weird clunk that one too we will see what they used especially this one inconsistent in its pull oh if I push it this way and pull it it feels smooth otherwise it feels like it's grinding on something as it pulls up which of course that would be internal to the pot okay um, I'm happy that it's uh, not a knockoff <laughs> it's not a knockoff of a knockoff WSST 24040090 or whatever that means. Um, let me look at these uh, Kanabis. Oh, yes. Yeah. So I was going to put some locking on there and I thought they might be six right but upside down, but they actually end up being a six left when they're upside down. So they're slanted the opposite way. So I have to look for some. I had some Safus. Um, set aside on Timu, uh, 18 to 1s, um, the nicer built-in body, um, and 1830-something, um, which was a really good price for an 18 to 1 locking. So I have to go back and see how I can get them in left, if these are not going to work for me. I don't really feel a lot of problem with that one. We'll check the ratio on these. That one feels pretty good. I might not need them. Haven't had a lot of problem with uh, West Creek tuners in the past. But we shall see. Black hardware always has some kind of a surface corrosion on them. Right from the first build I did 
with black hardware. My number three telly that I built with uh, black hardware from um, Guitar Fetish. Now that one has a bit of play, and that could be just a loose knob. Well, we'll see. We shall see. At least I got black hardware to hold the neck down. No neck plate, just the ferrules. The pocket looks tight. Oh, I see a shim sticking out the side here. There's a tiny, tiny little piece of wood sticking out there. It kind of got angled. So there is a shim already in there. And there's a tiny gap between the neck and the body on this side and this side. Up at the top end anyway. Um, down there. Yeah, it's tighter at the bottom, but looser all the way around over there. We'll see what that's all about when I get the neck off. Anyway, black screws on the back. The cavity is only big enough for the three that they've got in there and the switches in the middle down there. So we don't have an opportunity for any additional potentiometers. Nope. So we're going to have to deal with two. And we have to decide whether or not we're going to go with a, a volume and tone or two volumes that I usually prefer. We'll see what these pickups sound like. So got the plastics on them nice and tight. All black screws. Powder coat on the bridge is nice. It's quite shiny. J-Man says, you better buy some extra springs. Oh, it's a two-point bridge. Um, that might be adjustable down. Yeah, I might be able to get the action down with the two-point bridge. Didn't notice it was two-point. That helps with uh, being able to adjust the um, action. If you can bring down the front, then you can work with your set screws over here the way you'd like them so yes I think if I bring down the front I will be able to do what I want so I might not need to do another shim but we might need to position that shim that's in there a little better okay other than that we'll see what it weighs it, it feels pretty good it's probably about 7.8 to 8.2 something like that that's my guess. We'll see what it is. I'm not too good with weights. Anyhow, we'll uh, make a few adjustments and uh, see what it sounds like. That's coming up next. Okay, I did some uh, setup, some adjustments, some uh, truss rod, uh, saddles, the whole bridge. Um, wiped down the strings with NAFTA which actually brought up some of the wood uh, already uh, just that initial cleaning the strings were feeling a little grody um, I've been able to tune it standard 65 deluxe as usual that's the bridge now if you split the neck which is on the volume control too thin needs a frail in if you're going to use it to make it a partial split on the neck same thing a bridge creamier so the pickups sound good in humbucker mode uh, the switches work fine even though they have a funny feel to them switch works good so what I'm gonna do 
We already know that that works, right? I still have to bring that down a little bit. I've got a high fret up here that chokes out. We'll put on a little drive. We're going to use this uh, Guitar Lessons Made Easy track. I like it.
I'm going to have a lot to do with this. I've got some, probably some frets. I'm probably going to be able to get away with the shim that's in there. I just might have to reposition it slightly. I've got the saddles where I want them already. So a little body cleanup. Uh, oh, by the way, if I do the... both ways it's floating right now then whole tune very well but not terrible so maybe a little bit of spring adjustment there's five of them in there we'll uh, see what we can do I don't know how far in they are at the moment uh, the claw is right up to here so it's probably pretty close to being full in they do have the drywall screws in there again. And you know what? There was another guitar that somebody did recently that had drywall screws in it. Can't remember the brand. But anyway, we'll fix that. I don't like drywall screws. They're very brittle. Um, so that, we're going to do it. I think the tuners are going to satisfy. I need to tighten this button, I think, and it'll be okay. Um, yeah. The nut uh, little fix body and uh, she should be good. We'll see what happens in episode two. Appreciate all your support. Catch you in the next one. Stand by.